Um, in this video, we are going to be talking about isotopes. And once again, you're going to need a periodic table. So grab a periodic table. Um, again, it'll be linked on Canvas so you can print one out. Highly recommend doing it. All right, so let's start by talking about isotopes. Okay, so isotopes are something that they have the same number of protons, but they have a different number of neutrons. So same protons, but different neutrons. So that leads them to have a different mass. So same protons, but different neutrons. Um, so they have a different mass, okay? Um, and isotopes are going to have the same number of protons and electrons. They're neutral atoms, guys, for the most part. So since they have the same number of protons and electrons, they have a neutral atoms, but they have a different number of neutrons. And um, so again, same elements, but have different masses. And we basically write these two different ways. We can either write hyphen notation or with a nuclear symbol. So we're gonna learn both of them. So the first way is hyphen notation or mass number notation. Basically, it you write the symbol of the element and then a hyphen and then the mass number. And that's really pretty much it. So we're gonna do a couple practices. Really quickly before doing this though, I do wanna kinda of go through how to actually calculate the molar mass or the mass number. So guys, mass number is equal to your number of protons plus your number of neutrons. So that gives us our mass. Protons plus neutrons gives us our mass of a specific atom. Okay, so let's start with nitrogen. So first things first, you should find nitrogen on your periodic table. It is N is the symbol. So it's right there, number seven. Okay, so N is our symbol. And then to get our mass, we add our protons plus our neutrons. So nitrogen's atomic number is seven. So that means we have seven protons. And then in our problem, it says we have eight neutrons. So seven protons plus eight neutrons gives us a mass of 15. You may want a calculator if you are like me and not very good at math. Most of them are pretty easy, but a couple of them are like more than just adding seven plus eight. Okay. Next, we have uranium with 146 neutrons. So we need to find uranium on our periodic table. It is number 92, right there. It's in the actinide series at the very, very bottom. So uranium has 92 protons and it has 146 neutrons. So the symbol for uranium is U. And then we're going to add those two together. So to get our mass of so protons plus neutrons. So 92 plus 146 gives us a mass number of 238. Okay, pretty simple, right? All right, so that's the first one. It's just hyphen notation. Now we're gonna do nuclear symbol. Nuclear symbol is a little more complicated complicated, um, but it's the atomic number written as a subscript on the left of the element and the mass number written as a superscript. So here's kind of what it looks like. We have our mass number, which is protons plus neutrons on the top and then um, just protons on the bottom. And I do want to point out, guys, that one thing that's not listed on here that you will sometimes see is if we are talking about an ion, a lot of times also the charge will be written over on the right side on the top. So I would add that into your notes that you can also see the charge written on the right side on the top. Okay, now if it's neutral, it's not gonna have a charge. We don't have to write anything. We don't have to write a charge if we have that positive or that negative. Um, and for all of these, we are going to assume that they're positive, or new, sorry, they are neutral um, because they don't say that they're not. So we're gonna assume that they're neutral. So for this one, we have silicon with 14 neutrons. So once again, we have to find silicon on our periodic table. It is number 14 right there. All right, number 14. So that is silicon SI. All right, and on the top, we're going to have our protons plus our neutrons. So silicon is 
Atomic number is 14, so that means it has 14 protons. All right, that was really terribly written. Um, so protons plus neutrons, 14 plus 14, gives me a mass of 28. And then on the bottom, we have our atomic number or just our number of protons. So silicon's atomic number from the periodic table is 14. So that's how we would write that one with the atomic, um, the math, sorry, the nuclear symbol notation. Okay, next we have cesium with 78 neutrons. So we need to find cesium on our periodic table. It is number 55. Hopefully y'all can see that when I'm doing it. So cesium is number 55, so that means we have 55 protons. Cesium is CS from our periodic table, is its symbol. And the mass is the protons plus neutrons, so 55 plus 78. That gives us a mass of 133. And then again on the bottom, we just have 55 protons. Hopefully that was like pretty easy for you guys. All right, so now we're gonna do some practice and we're gonna fill out this chart with what we've learned. Um, now guys, I want to kind of give you a little um, hint of a way to kind of remember all of the formulas for um, for isotopes. I don't know why I can't talk this morning, but for isotopes. Okay, so um, kind of a phrase that I've heard is ape man. All right, so ape stands for atomic number equals protons equals electrons. And again, this only works whenever it's a neutral atom, but kind of helpful. So atomic number is equal to protons is equal to electrons. And then the man stands for mass number is equal to atomic number, which is the same as our protons, remember, plus neutrons. So hopefully that's helpful for you guys as we fill out this chart to kind of go through and be like, hmm, okay, what, how do I fill this out? Okay, so we're gonna start with our first one and our first one is ruthenium. We're given the number of neutrons, but in the name of the element, but that is it. So we're gonna come to our periodic table and we're gonna find ruthenium. It is number 44 right there. So that's RU number 44. All right, so um, its atomic number is 44. Oh, come on. Which means that it has 44 protons as well. And then because it's neutral, we're gonna assume all of these are neutral. It also is going to have 44 electrons. Okay, so that fills out a lot of our boxes right there. The one that we're missing is mass number. You guys remember mass number is equal to atomic number plus neutrons, or our protons plus our neutrons. So 44 plus 57. Um, so 44 plus 57 gives us a mass number of 101. Okay, and now from there, we're just gonna use the things that are in our table to fill out the rest of our chart. So nuclear symbol method. All right, our symbol on the periodic table is RU. Mass number is 101 and that goes on top and the number of protons goes on the bottom. That's 44. And then hyphen method, nice and simple, RU-101. Oh, goodness. I said the right number, but I didn't write it, guys. The struggle is real. Okay, I'm gonna do one more line with you guys and then I'm gonna leave the last two for you guys to do as practice, okay? So for this one, we have our atomic number is 78 and our number of neutrons. So if our atomic number is 78, that means we have 78 protons and 78 electrons. And we can fill out our mass because mass is equal to protons plus neutrons. So 78 plus 117 gives us 195. All right, we need to figure out our element. So we can use our atomic number or a number of protons to figure out our element. And it is 78, so we'll look on our periodic table. 
And we will find number 78. It's down here. And that is platinum. So platinum, PT. All right. So now we can use the rest of the information on our table to fill out the rest of the chart. So we have PT, platinum, and it has a mass of 195, and its atomic number is 78. So that gives us our nuclear symbol. And then platinum dash, just our mass would be 195. Okay, so I want you guys to go ahead and pause the video now and fill out the last two rows of the chart. Do it on your own. And then when you're ready to go over it, um, come back and restart the video. Okay, guys, so um, in our first row, we have germanium, has an atomic number of 32, mass number of 43, 32 electrons, and then you guys can see the nuclear symbol notation and the hyphen method. Then for our second one, it has 21 as the atomic number, 45 as the mass, 21 as our protons, 24 as our neutrons, 21 as our electrons, and then you can see down there, what our nuclear symbol looks like. Okay, guys, I hope this video was helpful and that you feel pretty good about isotopes now. Uh, feel free to email Mr. Oglesby or myself if you have any questions about anything that we've learned today. All right, bye guys.